beautiful. I want to ask a different question. So it takes a village to mm. raise a man. Yes. You are very well-rounded. Like you can go and sit and hang out with anybody. You, Thank you. You know, in Thank any you. room. I, I, I can feel that from you. Whether it's boardroom, war room, it doesn't <laughs> matter. You'll be comfortable. It takes a village to raise a man. Who are the two or three people that had a big impact on you where you know, at one or other stage in your life that course corrected you, that touched mm. you, and then you said, okay, boom, this landed. We need sure. To. No, I think I have to go back to my parents. Okay. Definitely. They, they were the ones that always helped me through some really tough times, whether it was at university or whether it was at work. Um, my fiance as well. And, um, you know, she's, <laughs> I always say she's the, the anchor to my aeroplane. Like okay. she, it's not that she stops me from flying, but she always keeps me grounded. Yes. You know, she always That's keeps very me grounded. Important. It's very important. And especially when you enter this sort of field, you know, um, I come home and I still do the dishes, you know what I mean? Yes. So, uh, and then my sister, of course, she's, she's been such an inspiration to me, also very supportive. And I think those four are the, are my foundation. To sister is older or younger? Younger sister. Younger, yeah. sister? younger sister. Okay. Also on social. Yeah. Also on social. But also has a well. master's, degree. master's degree. Yeah. Works in investment banking, of but course she does. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's also maybe considering this as a profession. Who knows? You know, so when the gifts were being handed out, mm. you guys were like in the front row, like <laughs> receiving all the gifts first. You got the looks, the height, uh, the <laughs> intelligence, everything. No, Congrats, thank you. You're man. very kind. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Bobby. So, landmines. I want to pose this question in mm. a way that landmines in your maybe you can share you, you're an interesting guest because yes. you can share landmines in a corporate environment as yes. well as landmines in you know your passion which is comedy sure what are the sort of one or two things that we can remember the gps coordinates mm -hmm. to avoid because we're going to learn from the mistakes that you stepped on yes that you can say okay in corporate i made one or two maybe not fatal decisions but mm. decisions that led to something that was Aina and then in comedy this is a landmine to look out for because you're gonna have fans on both sides of the face. Absolutely yeah I think we'll start with the the corporate so after um, my master's degree I was still not really sure where to jump and I think I, I would all urge my followers and whoever's watching this just do your research into every firm that's pos that, that you could possibly join um, not that I joined a bad firm, it was a great firm at the beginning, but I think the fit just wasn't perfect for me. So I would really urge people, do your research on Glassdoor um, and make sure that you are getting out of the company what you envisage, right? Because even though I've worked uh, in corporate Johannesburg for almost five years, I've worked at four different companies. So, um, and it's not that I'm a journeyman and trying to just chase the paycheck. I like exposure but I also want something that fits perfect for me wh while I was doing the, the whole corporate uh, hop. If you enjoyed this content and you would like to see more, please visit our Mitmac Masterclass channel on YouTube. That's where the magic happens. Bye-bye.